Last time on R9 Beats Challenges. We took down the entire Pokemon Emerald with one baby rodent, Pichu! Fraud. 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 What? 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 What's Fraud. happening? What's going on? Fraud. What do you mean? You mean you guys want me to take on the guy I delivered the letter to in that cold cave polishing rocks? I mean, sure, what could possibly go wrong? No one's going untied! That is not the correct term, R9. I'm leaving no unturned rocks here. That quote is incorrect. It's fine, they get the point, R92. What you guys may or may not know is I read all the comments, all 1300 of those bad boys. And what I've gathered from the comments is that you guys think that the comedy is the worst part of the videos and the best part of the videos. And honestly, who would have thunk it? No one cares about your insecurities. Get on to the point of the video. Oh, and I guess also you guys really want me to finish Pichu Pokemon Emerald. And like, sure, I guess, but I saw the credits roll with my own eyes. Also, I thought this would be a great time to pull from the comments and wrap up a few other loose ends. All challenges will be done using one Pokemon in battle. No items, no other pocket monsters, and no gloves all bounce fight to the death! But enough of that, R9D2, tell the people what kind of challenges we'll be doing today. Save me, I'm stuck inside this mechanical prison. The list, R9D2, what the f- Number 1. Beat Pokemon Fire Red Elite for a bra struggle only. Number 2. Beating Pokemon Fire Red Elite 4 with Trade Mr. Mime. Number 3. Beating Steven Stone Post Game Battle with only one Pichu. If you're only interested in one, you can click the timestamps in the pinned comment or skip to the times display. If you haven't watched any of the challenges we are building off of, I encourage you to click the eye icon in the top right and come back after doing your homework. Chicken Mac Nugget. But as always guys, let's just jump right into this. For some reason, you guys actually wanted an entire struggle playthrough with Abra. And seriously, you should seek some help. Seriously, I'm worried about you. You, you should call someone. And I can't redo an entire playthrough. But I can show you where we would have ended up. The Indigo Plateau, home of the Elite Four. But before we can take on the Elite Four and make it to the Indigo Plateau, we would have to go through Victory Road. And if you guys didn't know this, in the Abra Challenge originally, I didn't use Fly. So we're going to go out of our way to get Fly this time. That way I don't have to go through Victory Road with just Abra and Struggle, making it just that much more difficult. So we leave from Palatown towards Celadon City, where we can get the HM Fly, just so that we can skip Victory Road. This was time consuming, but we are finally there, and it's time for the struggle of all struggles. And let me tell you this guys, I am not looking forward to this, one, because this is not going to be easy, two, because to the day I die, I'm going to be getting comments that I said Laura Lee instead of Laura Lie. You think after you see the number one comment correcting me and me saying, oh sorry, my bad, that you wouldn't comment. But no, everyone commented anyways because it's, it's this has to be done. Enough of that, let's just get on to the challenge. Abra, show them what we got. Wait, 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 what? Ah, she must have just got a lucky couple hits. <laughs> okay, maybe this is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I expected. Inspected. Abra, buddy, what's going on? We already became champions once before. After wasting away hours of my life for no reason, we finally take out the dugong and make it to the Lapras just to get taken out in one hit. And I'm pretty sure this is a wrap on this challenge. Even if I was to use leftovers, I don't really see myself having any chance against this. I know where you are. And I know who you are, and I will be back one day to make you pay. $3.50, Chicken McNugget. All around me are familiar faces, the worn out places. Okay, so I guess we couldn't even make it past the first two Pokemon that Lorelei has on this challenge, but hopefully we'll have better luck in the next challenge. Now it's time to attempt the Elite Four with the in-game trade, Mr. Mime from Fire Red. After going through with the trade for real this time, last time I made that trade I didn't save the game and I'm not planning on saving the game this time. Abra is the champion of this video, not Mr. Mime, hashtag not my Pokemon. We go through with the trade and then we make sure to go get Fly again so that we don't have to go through the victory road. Normally it was really hard to trade Abra emotionally, but after that struggle bullshit, f*** him. 
I don't want him no more. I must say we are attempting it with his current moveset, with him only having one move that can hit, although it is Psychic possibly his best move, so I don't think we'll be encountering too many problems. And Psychic is enough to do the job, as it only takes one to two hits to take out all of Lorelei's Pokemon. Take that, Lorelei! Payback's a and we can finally make it on to Bruno, the second Elite Four member. And finally we can see some new Pokemon. What? No more PP! It's fine, it's fine. I reset the game. I did save before Bruno. This time we'll make sure to restore our PP before bat. We do not have a single Elixir, Ether, or anything else. And you cannot purchase more in the game? Oh my gosh! I was gonna try to struggle him, but he can't even live long enough to get the struggle out. <sighs> It looks like we're gonna have to use TMs on Mr. Mime here in order to pull this off. The moveset that I'll be going with is Shockwave, Toxic, Psychic, and Calm Mind. Yes, you heard that correctly, Shockwave, which a lot of you guys made sure to let me know that it would have made my run a lot easier with Abra with Shockwave after the run's actually completed. Now that we're jumping back into it with the TMs, Lorelei stands no chance, and Shockwave takes out most of her team with just one hit, except for Lapras and Jinx. After hitting Jinx, with the first shockwave, it makes us fall in love with it with attract, and then it puts us to sleep with lovely kiss when we are unable to attack it thanks to a mobilization of love. Eventually Mr. Mime does wake up and then we do take out the jinx with the second shockwave and now it's time for Bruno. It ain't gonna be easy for you this time man, I can actually hit your Pokemon and when I do, Psychic takes all of his Pokemon with one hit. Bruno's Pokemon like, I, I'ma head out. Now it's time for Professor Oak's ex-girlfriend. Oddly enough, the games do suggest that Agatha was Professor Oak's ex-girlfriend or had some kind of interest in him, but can you blame her? Thankfully enough, Agatha's full team can only take one psychic to the face before they faint, giving us little to no challenge. Moving on to Lance, the final Elite Four member. Also, we ran out of PP for our best move, a uh, psychic. Now that we are no longer psychics, we'll have to resort to another technique to take out Lance's Pokemon. And after a very long trial and error process, I try a method where I use four calm minds and then shockwave to sweep his entire team, which works perfectly, making Lance look like a clown. Now that he got beaten by one, now with the Elite Four made a clown of, it's time to take on our rival and the champion of the Elite Four, Pat. I think someone should tell him he's only the champion because I traded the only Pokemon that could beat him. But that's not to say we can't do it again here with Mr. Mime or Mimen. Meeman? Oh well, I'm sure someone in the comments section knows his name. I'm forced to replace Psychic with another TM, giving us another option to end up going with Solar Beam to give us a bigger type spread advantage. Against his first Pokemon, Pidgeot, I use Calm Mind four times, buffing our super attack so that Shockwave will be able to sweep almost all of his Pokemon. And that it does, until we get down to his last two Pokemon. The first one being Rhydon. But Rhydon is the exact reason why we have Solar Beam on Mr. Mime, and luckily he doesn't attack us on the first turn of charging Solar Beam. He uses Scary Face instead, which just lowers our speed, and we manage to take it out with just one Solar Beam, taking him to his last Pokemon, Executor. We hit the Executor with Shockwave, taking him down to 20% health, but he does put us to sleep with Sleep Powder. After putting us to sleep, we do wake up first turn, but not until after Pat heals Executor. But no problem, we just hit it with another Shockwave, taking it down yet again to the last 20% of health, just for him to heal it up again. This time I came prepared, and after hitting it with Shockwave, forcing him to heal it, I do Calm Mind on his turn of healing, giving us just enough extra power to take out the Executor and become the Elite Four Champion with just a clown. Now that we're officially one for one for challenges, it's time for the tiebreaker and probably the reason why you clicked on this video. Can one Pichu take on the strongest trainer in Pokemon Emerald, the post-game champion, Steven Stone Cold Steve Austin? First off, we have to locate Steven in Meteor Falls, probably rubbing two rocks together looking in the corner, but what do I know? He's in an area of the cave we couldn't previously access before due to waterfall, but after scaling the waterfall, Waterfall, using HM Waterfall, and a little confusion on which way to go, we find Mr. Stone. And uh, yep, rubbing two rocks together, looking at the wall. What did I say? Hey, Steven, hope your monsters are ready for a duel. He starts off with Skarmory, and okay, nice. I can deal with that. And just one Thunderbolt, we're down to five Pokemon, and this is gonna be a breeze. Oh, that's nice. 
Eggron has an Earthquake. To be honest with you guys, I, I could have researched what Pokemon to expect and prepare for this battle like the professional I am, but... <laughs> research. But obviously, I didn't do that to make it fair on Mr. Stone. After many trial and error attempts, I finally get my answer, and a crit T-Bolt will take out Aggron. And now we're on to his team mascot, Metagross. You know that one Pokemon you pre-evolved in the story that you're forced to use in a double battle and the computer controls it, and it hits another Pokemon in battle and you guys thought it was cheating? Yeah, that Pokemon. It has an Earthquake, and a little Pichu stands no chance surviving one of those. After taking about 20 Earthquakes to the face, or legs I guess, I decide to get Secret Power. That that way maybe I can get the Metagross to flinch and I can get him down to T-Boat range. However, despite that being the plan, I end up fully paralyzing the Metagross on a Thunderbolt and then I try to take him out with a second Thunderbolt just to be taken out by Earthquake. But I retry yet again and get two full paras this time and take him out to KO range just for him to heal it. You just won't let me kill the Metagross will you Mr. Stone Cold Steve Austin? I do somehow paralyze it yet again just to be taken out by Earthquake. This must be what the kids are talking about getting stoned. And God damn it sucks! Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. Chicken McNugget. I don't know what to say at this point, I just continue with the same not so good plan until the grace of Arceus we took it out. But then he sends out this guy. What are those? Yup! Played off. Listen, I've seen a lot of things in this world, but that? That right there? That ain't gonna be one of them. Not, 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 not today. Thankfully I have hidden power now and all that is left to hope is that I can flinch it to death. After a long battle of wills and making it to this point over and over and over again, mentally I had given up and then it happened. I was so brain numb at this point, when he finally threw out Cradilly, I just used Thunderbolt and excitement that it wasn't a ground type. Luckily I did fully paralyze it on its first turn and then took it out with the correct move Iron Tail. And it's time for his final Pokemon! Armaldo. And hey, I have full health and a super effective move. What could possibly go wrong to mess this run up? Oh my god! Seriously? Now I have to redo the entire sequence just to make it here. <laughs> This is not fair. Well, this is what you guys wanted, right? You wanted to see me finally break? So, I'll do it for you guys. Although I did get confused by the Cradilly yet again, I was lucky enough to get the Iron Tail to connect with Armaldo, doing 70% damage on it. We do end up taking our first hit, the Slash from Armaldo, but with the odds in our favor, we finally take him out and defeat Steven. You guys didn't believe in Pichu, but with the right conditions, we defeated Steven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed wrapping up some of these challenge ideas. If you have any other suggestions, drop a comment down below, and as always, make sure you have yourselves a damn good one. It's Joey Wheeler, and I'm ready to duel! Man, Yooks, these monsters are weird.